I used to do a lot of free running. And there was a day when, you know, me and my friend, you know, friend back in the day, were filming a stunt that I was supposed to do. Off the wall? It was a very simple wall run and running kind of thing. Oh, you know? wow. Okay, it was the video you just seen two seconds ago. That's so funny. Awesome. Let's move. You are now traveling to another dimension. Easy to holiday. I told these trolls to lick my bunk crack, and then they do a good job licking my bunk crack. Bing bong! Bing bong! I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to go to jail! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Mm -hmm. This is a certified hood classic. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, it's your boy CJ, and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. Right now, I'm on N Word Boys channel because I still have some catching up to do with Cyrax. Like usual, I'm not going to cover everything he's done, just stuff that kind of interests me, you know? But, but I also want to just show you some of the content he's been trying to produce. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It is. Just quickly, let's just go through one by one, okay? The first one I'm going to talk about is apparently a podcast. Huh? <laughs> what? Behind the comments. Like, this is episode three? Sheesh. Sheesh. Let's hear what he has to say quickly. We'll go to the first one. Is this it? Okay, yeah. Let me bring you up to speed. Of course. Let's go. The only ghost sign sniper. Welcome to the very Wait, first Wait, what, what is he calling himself? The only... Ghost Night Sniper. <laughs> Gay! Wait, what did he, Ghost Night Sniper? Is that what he's going by nowadays? Jeez. Welcome to the very first episode of Beyond the Comments podcast, where I talk about everything within social media, shit that goes on in social media, and stuff that needs to be spoke about. Boring! The first comment is, now we can invite guests for the pod. I vote William Gloriel. <laughs> okay, now, so pretty much this is just his normal video. All he did was just put a border around him. I guess that's better than nothing, right? But we're not listening to this right now. Let's go back. What we do here is go back, 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 back. <laughs> Okay, and now there is also, he's doing lots of gameplay recently, I guess. And I've, I've seen a couple, and it's so funny. The tone of his voice is totally different compared to when he's gonna go crazy and yell at the camera. This is him trying to get viewers that don't know about this situation. And uh, it's so funny. He's trying to be all wholesome. Just watch it. Trigger finger itching, ready for a fight Shooting bullets like an eagle Precision so tight Aim so deadly, you can't escape the sight Oh <laughs> That intro though <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel I'm your host, Ghost Side Sniper Welcome back to the channel <clears throat> And He's, just, he's trying to get the words out, but the saliva is blocking his passageway to talk. Go back to the channel. And today we're playing a game that's not very popular. Or at least it wasn't. But I always found very fun back in the day. Haven't played this in years. Just, okay, boring as hell. No one cares about this, obviously, right? So let's just go back again. Now, the video I came here for to react to is 
This one. Cyrax on YouTube. Possible comeback? Yes or no? No! Excuse me, Perry. No! Excuse no! me. No! 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 So, let's see it. Oh, my, and just right off the hop. Not even a second in. Not even one second. You can hear the noise. The buzzing is back, people. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> It's your boy Ghost Eye Sniper here. Ghost Eye Sniper. And I already have something I want to talk about. Um. No cap. So as many of you guys already know, I'm clearly a good dancer. Clearly. Because uh, as many of you guys know already. Wait, wait, wait. I couldn't hear him because of this buzzing. Good dancer. A good dancer. Really. Are you kidding me? You're all right. I could actually see you getting better if you tried. But. But the thing is, two things are stopping you. You have no drive. Another one. You are way too lazy. And another one. And second of all, you can't go anywhere with it. Do you not see what's under your belt? Are you really blind? To your past, the best thing for you is to find a job. It might take you a bit, but find a job and don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> but guys, I okay, I gotta show you the the dancing. The way he dances is like is like a mystical wizard at its work, with a feet like a boxer, light as a feather, and the way this guy boogies, he he put a standard to boogieing to the point no one can boogie no more. He is the boogieing bug eyed banshee. And watch out, here he is. Let's get some shits. Let's get some shits. Let's get some shits. Let's get some shits. 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 Oh my god, shits. Shits. These shits rule. Bro, he sucks. Th this guy sucks. He can't, like, no, I don't even. I want to say that because I know him and I'm biased. But. He is not good. He is not good as he thinks he is. And I'm sorry. Like, I think you have to have a type of body to dance because it's it's like artwork when somebody dances. You want to look at their body and see what positions and what this is and blah, blah, blah. Hey, yo. No one wants to see your mangled four foot nine bug eyed banshee of a body flailing around. I'm sorry. No one does. Because <laughs> as many of you guys know already, I have done dance throughout my entire high school career. <laughs> you know, I danced all throughout my high school career, and even a little bit after. I, I there is also this video of him in high school. I I don't know if he was doing parkour or break dancing. I can't remember right now. But but I'm gonna show you that video quickly as well. Play it. This is This is our new video. Chance to go ahead. Come on, Bravi. <laughs> and so he actually I think he was trying to do that that and parkour I for I, like I said I kind of forget but the reason why I retired from dancing for so long <laughs> isn't because I don't enjoy it because I do the reason why I retired was because one and you guys don't know Oh, I'm sure um, we did. Along with dance in high school, I used to do parkour. Oh, that is so weird. Guys, you, I hope you know me. You, well, you don't. But. I've given you no reason why I'd lie to you. I have not seen this. I have not seen this. Like, that would be really corny of me. And that is just weird how I called that out. Oh my god, who the hell cares? That, that is so weird. But, 
it makes sense in that video I just showed you there was a bit of dance I think to it at the end where he like does a headstand or a handstand he jumps off the wall into a headstand so it makes sense he incorporated parkour with dance there but it's just funny how he says that when I said it as well and it come on guys that would be super corny if I'm just trying to pretend like oh I predicted Cyrax it's like oh good job anybody could do that right <laughs> So it's not that big of a deal, but it's just weird. I used to do a lot of free running. And there was a day when, you know, me and my friend, you know, friend back in the day, were filming a stunt that I was supposed to do. Off the wall? It was a very simple ball run and run kind of thing. Oh, you know? wow. Okay, it was the video you just seen two seconds ago. That's so funny. Awesome. Off the set of a, a ten stair, yeah. Ten, ten stair wait, floor. was that ten stair? Nope. This must have been another video. <laughs> oh. And what a ten stair gap is is basically just you know ten stairs with a rail, and then you you know you do. Wow, he doubles down on it as well. One down the set. We get it. Well. During one of our shoots, because back then parkour was still a big thing, and we wanted to try to hop on that that train to see what we could do. Uh, what you and your special ed class? <laughs> no, that's mean. I was also in the special ed class. That's me. I was super embarrassed. Uh, at the time, I only thought I had ADHD. Right? Later down in life, I figured out that. I'm most likely autistic. I guess you can never know for sure because of how little I have it, if that makes any sense. But I didn't know that at the time. All I knew is I had ADHD. And I guess you can really get those two confused from what I was researching. So I'm allowed to say that joke. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, during one of our filming uh, things that we would do, like during one of the times that we decided, hey, we want to film something here at the school while it was open, I ended up getting into a real nasty accident, huh? so to speak. How? Wait, I n keep on going. My ankle bone <laughs> had basically gotten shoved up into hey, yo. my leg. Uh, Cyrax, it's a funny story. It makes me want to giggle like a schoolgirl, but I don't believe it. Oh, is this gonna be some sympathy shit where it's like, this is what destroyed my dancing career? Oh my goodness, no. No. Cyrax, I said this in my last video. I said, watch this. After him going crazy on Marty's stream, he's gonna try to sympathy bait right after that i didn't i don't think i said the next day i i think this is the next day what day is it 20 so yeah this was last night this was after marty is it a couple days after so i was pretty much right that's funny how are how are people supposed to feel bad for you especially the people that have seen what you were saying on marty's stream you have black people hating you you have gay people hating you you almost have everybody in this world that hates you because everybody hates a PDF file, an alleged one, which there's proof to it. I've showed it billions of times. You said it yourself. My friend's mom, who thank God she was there with us. Oh yeah. Just in case. Him breaking his ankle or whatever. And the mom helping. Friends. She was able to pop it back up because she was a registered nurse. Okay. She actually is one of those doctors that resets and re-breaks bones and resets bones. Thankfully, the injury wasn't bad enough to where I had to go to the hospital, but I did have to have an ace bandage for a, a long time. So it sounded like nothing. Okay, so are you not going to go how it ruined your career route? Okay, maybe yeah, one second. We'll give him a second. Like, I, I want to say it was like about a month and a half. Not long. Because the way I landed, my foot landed wrong and I shoved my ankle bone up into my leg, which fucking hurt like hell. Okay. Thankfully, no bones were broken. It was just out of place and she had to pop it back in. 
But but because of that accident. No way. Stop. You didn't. E it was not even broken. And you're now gonna pull this. Oh golly. Come on. Really. But because of that accident, I ended up having to retire shortly after. Oh my. <laughs> And that was actually during my final two years of high school that that had happened. <laughs> or were you actually going somewhere with it? Were people calling you up trying to get them on your team? Like, oh, we need Cyrax for our team. We need you for our parkour team. What? What is it? How are you going to make this story even more unrealistic? Let's hear it. Oh, I am. So, I ended up with, yeah. Oh, he didn't. Um, but the reason why I retired is not only because of... Yeah. I swore he was going to lie more, but he stopped himself there. Um, but the reason why I retired is not only because of, you know, that accident, because my ankle does still give me issues from time to time. Really? Has anybody heard about this before? I could be just tripping, and I don't think this is known. I think that I think this is just made up, probably last night. So guys, let me know. Has he talked about hurting his ankle before, or having pain in his ankle? I haven't heard it. Because of that, now it's like I can literally, I can just show my ankle that you shouldn't be able to. Let's just say that. It's fucking weird. Oh, you're, you're a different type of person, huh? You got that dog in you. You're not like the other girls, huh, Cyrax? Your ankle's a different breed. Like, <laughs> what are you trying to say? We gotta go back. Show my ankle that you should... Sorry. Show that. There you go. Now it's like I can literally... I can just show my ankle that you shouldn't be able to do. Let's just say that. It's fucking weird. It sounds like you're a superhero. What can you do with your ankle? Do they like have little springs in them so you can jump higher? Like, <laughs> what? But also because of the fact that when I first showcased me doing some dance. See, he's got the Vaseline. I'm glad he's doing something for his skin because my golly, it looks like he fell out of a car going 150 miles per hour and he scrapes his dome piece off the road it looks like a huge road rash that's what it looks like i don't i don't think you can see here but in certain angles you can oh my his head is ruthless his skin don't even like him it's trying to crawl off and jump off his own body <laughs> A lot of people saw that as the only thing that I'm good at. No, no one's seen that. I'm sorry. And certain people like Marty wanted to see me do only that. You know? I'm, now I'm thinking this is when Marty and Cyrax were on good terms and maybe Marty didn't know about the allegations or his past. They're not really allegations, some of them. Or maybe Marty did know and he was just being good with him at the time, making him dance like his little puppet, you know? I don't know. See me do only that, you know? Which is why I ended up retiring because I felt like here's this thing that I love doing, but yet I'm being forced to do it by some random guy that doesn't know me. Or by why would you let another man force you to do something? You're the one letting him into your life. Because, you know, I think uh, you have a little thing for Marty. You keep on coming back to him like an abused wife. You can't help yourself. You just cannot help yourself. Would you guys want to see me make a comeback and, you know, do this as like a side thing for now? And s okay, a part of me wants to say yes. Most of it, most of me wants to say no. Just because of how funny the content would be. It would be hysterical. 
what would happen as like a little experiment. A little experiment. Would you guys want to see that happen? And like I said. Alright, one second. One second. Okay, shit. I gotta go. Somebody's at my door right now. But guys, yeah, I, hopefully I didn't miss anything. But yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, do all those shenanigans, and I'm a dip. Peace out.